Peace, everyone. So I decided to come on and share a pick a card video for the collective right now. Um, there's so much going on here with uh, the coronavirus, the COVID-19, um, all this this pandemic energy, a lot of fear, a lot of, uh, and rightfully so, um, but the thing is, is not necessarily to hold on to it. This, this fear that we're feeling is the fear of change because we know that we have never seen anything like this before. Never, never, not our grandparents and some some of our great grandparents haven't even seen anything like this. So um, we are really as a collective really churning and really building um, a lot of things and a lot of people are, are moving in fear. So um, I hope that this message that I come to you with today um, happens to help dispel that energy for you. Um, and if it doesn't, you know, I try. <laughs> I tried, <laughs> but, um, you know, like seriously though, um, I, I really did want to come on and just share some, uh, healing vibes because I feel the tension so high and I think it's really important for us to all tune in as a collective, uh, at this point. So what I'm going to do is do a pick a card video. Uh, in the beginning of this video, you, you've seen a picture, uh, and that is one, two, and three, right? So, um, we're going to go with the card pile number one, um, as the first that I'll do a reading. Um, and then you can go ahead and skip forward, um, you know, to the next card and so on and so forth. Um, so the first card, um, the emblem is the skull, okay? Um, the skull is the first pile. The second pile is sage, okay? And the third pile is an athame, okay? So um, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start reading now from the first pile. Um, so those of you that have picked number one, this would be for you, okay? Just need a little bit more shuffling, I feel. Okay, so the cards that have come forward for you, those that have picked the skull, the card number one in the skull, um, the first card is full moon. And the full moon energy, as we all know, is very much a powerful energy in the sense that um, it's utilized for its, its, its esoteric purposes. Um, and with that energy coming forward, it's also really important for us to like really get focused on our, um, I would say more so our connections with our mothers, um, also really looking into how you nurture yourself um, and also uh, making sure for the women out there that you are taking care of your feminine uh, reproductive organs in this time. Um, I'm also hearing for, for the collective that's picked number one, it's important for us to release uh, the things that we are holding on to that make us the most fearful. Uh, this is pretty significant energy here because the full moon is also about purging and letting go. Um, but what I'm hearing mostly is the the fear. It, it's it's a, about fear um, and releasing that. And, knowing that just because you can't help everything and everyone doesn't mean that you know who you are that negates who you are in your sense of healing um i i'm seeing that very strongly for for that um because there's a need to direct your focus also um you have the focus card 
Sorry that the lighting is a little off here. Um, this is the focus card. Um, with that energy, it's important for us to really direct and align. Um, and this fear really shouldn't be utilized as fear in a sense of debilitating. This should be a sense of like fear, like, wow, I need to take in all this, what I'm getting right now because I might not get it again that's real like that's a real visceral feeling that you're allowed to have right um there's so much going on we haven't experienced this so it's important for us to tap into it own it and release it it's so so vital um you have here the morning star as well uh for cards uh pile number one with that it's really important for you to align with a higher guide at this time, um, a higher guide in the sense of allowing your consciousness to align to a, a protector. And your protector should be source energy at all times. In my opinion, that's what I work with, the source energy is just me, source, and that's how it goes. It's just up and down all all day. It's, it's definitely that figure eight. Um, and recommending that I really think that tying into the preciousness of life and what you're so fearful of losing in this time um it's important for you to own that fear but understand that you're not the deciding factor and you'll never be it's okay that you're not you know um so that's what I'm seeing and uh with the final card is the burden basket and Burden Basket um, is a powerful, like, leave your, leave your petitions on my altar. This is, I could take care of this for you. This is, this is the basket that you write your, your deepest, highest goals and things that you, you want. The things that you want, those are for you. That's what you take and you place under your pillow. But your Burden Basket is all the things that you don't want. All the things that, that don't make you feel whole, you write all those as a petition and you put them in a basket and then you send it up a river. That's how that energy used to work back in those times of uh, our ancestors. So it's important to remember that you still have those things um, available to you even times that you don't understand what's going on and understand that you're not in control. You'll never be in control and it's okay because God has a bigger plan for our lives and you know how we do things. God energy is always supportive of that. Uh, so if you would like a more in-depth reading with me, you could definitely visit me at my website. I'm doing virtual readings and it is www.demurelife.com. Um, come visit me if you want to get a full reading. I would love to do that with you at this time. Um, so for our second pile is going to be the sage and I'm going to pick some cards. I'm going to shuffle here for the highest vibration that connects to all beings. That's quite this message. Wow, okay. That's interesting. So for those that have picked the sage, um, the energy is pretty, pretty all over the place. And um, what I'll start with is that you have the mask, right? This is your first card. This is the card of self um, in that expression. You know, it's always the first. Having a mask on at this time is important <laughs> it's very important it's so important like uh i can't stress that enough and i find it really funny that the eyes are covered right we're doing the mask the mask it's like this is not the mask off challenge right now like it's important that you not necessarily mask who you are but protect who you are in this time um it's 
a new transition because you know like it, those of you that have picked this card i'm hearing that it's important for you to already understand that you've you've kind of always been aloof i don't want to say aloof in a negative way but like you know you're not so you don't want to connect on deep deep levels in a sense you know like um you kind of like touch and go like oh um you know like i would like you know people to not know me so well or you know like you have that that aspect of you um but what i'm seeing here with the mask it's this this is the time that you're actually realizing well, well shit, i don't know anybody and you know please excuse my language so what i'm saying <laughs> is oh you know i don't know anybody you know like and people don't know me and now i'm feeling extremely isolated and that's you know what comes after that is the storm you know it's stormy energy um realizing that you not necessarily have gotten such deep connections and you're feeling very detached from reality um or really realizing that this is reality. This is your reality. And you have to understand that you have decided to walk this path for a purpose. Like this exact purpose, it's okay to be alone. It's okay to have some isolate space. It's okay to protect your energy. Um, this time is really about you taking on what you deserve. Um, and really pouring more into yourself because uh, you have the goddess energy right behind it. And that's telling you that you already know that the reason why you don't want to share who you are with everybody. And this is, you know, that time where you're really needing to have that turnaround point, that pivotal motion that comes up because it's like, well, I, this is why I've been alone is because I have such gold in here. I have such wealth in here you know like you have the wealth card here it's like i'm valuable i have that value and i don't want to share it anymore i'm i'm done sharing it and that's okay too it's it's totally good that you decide that you want to take on your life for yourself and really you know adopt those principles that you you enjoy in others you know i'm seeing um this energy particularly card number two the sage people um they have really focused more on protecting themselves, um, but giving themselves to those in the past and partially sometimes in the present uh, that, yeah, I'm seeing it as like, you're, you're realizing now that, you know, like you've been protected for a purpose um, because you're really valuing it, but what you are struggling with here in the isolation phase is, well, I'm X amount of years old and I don't have support. Um, and that's when it's coming through uh, for you. So what I would do in to help that um, go forward and to lift your vibration is to really dig in and really understand that, you know, the most valuable things are under the earth's crust in its mantle you know like you have to mine for gold you have to mine for silver you have to you know dig for oil you know like all these things they're all value diamonds you know like diamond mines like everything that's valuable is under the surface and it's good that you are recognizing that you deserve um people that that really want to be there um and don't hold empty space, you know? So, um, big message that I'm hearing, and that just came to me, um, is for me to tell you to not make any more empty plate, like don't make any plates to sit for an empty space at your table. You know, like it shows me as like, you want to feed someone that's not there um, and don't do that anymore. So that's what I have. Uh, for cards number two, uh, the sage people, uh, and they are really, you know, those, and I just want to say, like, those that pick sage, I think, in my opinion, really know that they are aware of their need for change, uh, and I just would like to throw that symbology out there as well. Um, I want to also say 
uh, it's important to take heed of all these messages, but also understand that it's the way you receive them uh, and how you apply them is how it, it will manifest for you. Uh, so if you want any more in-depth reading on that, uh, you could definitely book with me on my site. That's www.demirelife.com. And um, for the third and final pile, I'm going to shuffle. Uh, that would be the Athame people, those that have chosen the Athame. Um, this is a, actually gold sheen obsidian. I really love this piece, uh, and I haven't been able to find another one, so this one's not for sale. <laughs> but I just, I, I just adore it. I think it's so pretty. So, all right, what do we have for the Athamites? Wow, that's interesting. And this is this is like a completely different energy happening here. So, um, so for the people out there that have chosen the Athme, um, it says get outside. And you know, like not necessarily um, you know to go shopping or you know, but actually take time to breathe in nature. It's really important. I'm hearing. For me to tell you that it's important for you to breathe in nature because um, it's supportive of the lungs. So um, if you've chosen uh, number three, the athame, um, I would definitely say go ahead and go outside. It's important. Um, and yep, okay. So what I'm also hearing is going outside and getting like those your hands in the earth and making sure that you're planting, making sure that you're you're doing. Um, the things that you want to do outside that you also look to others to you know see what they're doing I'm seeing here also it's important for you to um, build things outside so uh, look outside in your backyards if you don't live in a house with a backyard and you have like a apartment look into aquaponics um, or hydroponics uh, grow grow towers things like that uh to get your sense of greenery up because that's gonna actually help your oxygen intake um and it's really important to get that that corrected for you at this time um you have here the gift too so um taking the opportunity to understand that life in itself is a gift right now um is really important uh to focus on loving those that are around you, um, the gift of life, you know, it's, it's, can't get more direct than that. I also see that with the gift, it's, okay, so doing these more tangible, tactical things, um, you know, like creating your abundance in the sense of growing things, um, building things, doing that, that in itself is going to show you that you have more gifts that you didn't know uh, to come through. You know, you're, this is a good time for you to kind of take on the understanding that you can create more things in your reality, that you can, um, you know, build what you want to create, you know, and, and the life is as you want it can be yours. Um, you have here the soulmate too, which is a very nice change of pace. Um, you know, when it comes to the cards that I've chosen for the other piles, uh, the soulmate energy is very much about taking heed to those connections. And I'm seeing here that those that have chosen this uh, pile specifically and that are getting the soulmate are really questioning um, their connections to others at the point. Um, not necessarily in a negative way, but like really kind of seeing, okay, well, you know, we're stuck in the house together and, you know, where is this going now? And now I'm actually thinking about the pace of this relationship and these connections. Um, don't push somebody out the door because you're rushing. 
Just because right now everything's at a standstill doesn't mean that you have to rush everything else. So if you feel yourself being triggered by your connections in a sense that you're like, oh, well, is this real? Or, you know, like if you're kind of looking at this as like what's going on next, that's going to be a challenge. And it's not the time to decide on those things. Um, I know that it's kind of hard to do so right now because of the fact that we're so much involved in you know, that face-to-face, in-your-face quarantine right now. Um, but understand that that's a gift. That's a gift. And for you to really kind of decipher the time, you know, and really investing in creating those spaces. And then you have cleansing. So it feels to me that with cleansing, it doesn't necessarily mean that you know, you have to get rid of anybody, but the fact that this is a sage card, there's a need for you to expel all energy. So I'm going to say, look at your friendships, look at your your relationships, and really kind of see if they fit into the person that you're evolving into now. Um, and that'll give way to a lot of anxiety. Um, you know, you will not want to have those feelings anymore. So you have to kind of be aware that it's gonna give way to some anxiety, but it's okay for it to come. Um, because when we release things, that means that we're accountable for those things. And that's the thing that everybody's afraid of when it comes to letting go. Everybody's afraid of that accountable energy. Um, I find it really difficult, you know, like to get my point across when people are afraid of change, you know, they're, they're wanting to fight you tooth and nail. They're like, you know, well, that doesn't make sense. And how can, and you're just like, well, that's what you're asking for. You want a completely different change, so I'm giving you a completely different option. Completely different. And that's the way it should be. So um, that's what I have here for the three piles. But um, I do want to um, kind of do a collective reading. And like I said um, with the other two, if you'd like to book a full reading with me, please visit me on my website. I would love that. It's www.demurelife.com. So I am just going to pick three cards here for the collective just to close out and, you know, give the fact that we are all on the same page um, some form or another. <laughs> Wow. That's exciting. That's so exciting. Okay, so the first card that we have here is the butterfly. How perfect and how fitting is that, right? The butterfly in this experience, it's like we're, we're um, evolving out of this sense of um, boredom. You know, like you think about the caterpillar and the caterpillar... Uh, evolves into the butterfly, but it's only after a moment of isolation, those that point of isolation where they had to create the cocoon to erupt from it to become the butterfly. The thing when it, you are the butterfly, and I say this about the butterfly all the time, is the butterfly doesn't realize how beautiful it truly is because it can't see its own wings. The thing is, is the butterfly is out, but it's looking straight ahead at you, right? So it doesn't understand how special that process was. It's just being. And that's where we are right now is we are going to come through this stronger and we are going to come through this more refined and more put together and really more in a space of love and connection. Um, I also see here that we have Vesica Pisces. Vesica Pisces energy is about really gaining psychic sense, intuition, um, the downloads are real, y'all. Like, they are so real when it comes to this time. The things that you are getting right now, don't discard them. Don't discard them. Understand that you are being given divine knowledge 
into what this experience is here for you, for those close to you and your family. So don't discount your own intuition at this time. It's very much important to follow up on those things. Um, and then the last card is knowledge. So um, we are here to learn um, from our past uh, mistakes and uh, kind of really tap into that. Uh, if you've watched some of my other videos, uh, you would see that I did say that before, um, you know, like when it comes to this whole coronavirus uh, epi uh, pandemic, it's, it's not an epidemic, it's a pandemic. Um, the knowledge really for what we need to do comes from before. You know, like the 1918 influenza epidemic, um, those things that were implemented then, you know, like I, I encourage you to do your research and, and look at that timeline because they're definitely doing things like that now. And it's okay that they are because that's what cleared that path. So, you know, we as a collective society have such privilege and I put it in quotes because a lot of us still think that it's okay for us to just go shopping you know and just do be out you know and inconvenience others for for no real reason other than our own boredom and that's where I caution us back to remind ourselves that the butterfly really is just kind of looking around and bored, you know, before it happens. So to really be the butterfly, you really have to succumb to the boredom and understand that there's bigger things that are they're on the way, you know, because you are gonna be a butterfly. Also with the caterpillar, if you think about it, the caterpillars are needed. So not everybody that is, you know, growing in this time is going to grow to be a butterfly. Caterpillars are needed here to do their work as well. Um, so just take that into consideration. Um, and I really hope that helps. You know, I, I really hope that this, uh, these cards and this message has helped you guys in some way today. Um, I just wanted to come on and share because I felt like it was so important to kind of help dispel and break up that negative energy um, to give some semblance of hope. Um, you know, I really do feel that we are as a collective stronger than this virus that is out here. I really truly believe that. Um, you know, I just, I want everybody to